How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Recently I bought an A1 combo to add to my 3D printer collection and along with the A1 combo comes the AMS Lite. I also have an X1 Carbon combo which came with the first original AMS unit and today I'm going to be comparing and giving my thoughts on which unit I prefer. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, subscribe and without further ado, let's get comparing. The AMS is Bamboo Lab's first multicolor solution. It is fully enclosed, supports up to four colors and is designed to sit nicely on top of your X1 or P1 series printer. The pros of this AMS unit include an enclosed design, built-in slots for desiccant, it sits on top of the printer and four AMS units can be linked together allowing up to 16 colors. Cons of the AMS, it only supports one kilogram spools by default doesn't work very well with cardboard spools and is slightly difficult to fix if filament gets stuck inside one of the guide tubes. The AMS Lite is Bamboo Lab's latest multicolor solution. It has an open design, supports up to four colors and is designed to sit nicely on a stand next to your A1 series printer. Pros of the AMS Lite are that it supports 500 grams, 600 grams, 750 gram and one kilogram spools without the need for modification. It is compatible with cardboard spools and it's easy to fix if filament gets stuck in the guide chips. Cons of the AMS Lite, it's not enclosed, it has no slots for desiccant, it sits next to your printer by default, taking up quite a bit of space, and AMS lights cannot be chained together, meaning you only have a maximum amount of four colors. Both are fantastic multicolor solutions and make multicolor printing extremely easy and accessible However, for me personally, as I mainly print PLA on cardboard spools and only ever need four colors, the AMS Lite is the best option for me. Bamboo Lab has also released a mounting kit that allows you to mount the AMS Lite on top of the A1, which removes the con of having it sitting next to the printer, taking up a lot of space. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and this helped you make your decision on whether you do require an AMS or whether you're happy to go with an A1 with an AMS light. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts on both the units in the comments down below. And as always, happy printing.